Today's topic is gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is the enlargement of the breast tissues in boys or men. Gynecomastia can affect one or both breasts. The enlargement of the breast may be equal in both breasts or may be uneven. Gynecomastia can be common during infancy, puberty, and in middle age to older men. More than half of male infants are born with enlarged breast due to the effects of their mother's estrogen. The enlarged breast tissue goes away within two to three weeks after birth. The condition affects about one in four men between ages 50 and 69. Gynecomastia is not usually harmful or serious, but it can be tough to cope with the condition. In some cases, it can result in sore breast tissue or pain, swelling and nipple discharge in one or both nipples. Seek immediate medical care if you experience this. Men and boys with gynecomastia may feel embarrassed and this may cause psychological and emotional problems. Causes Gynecomastia is triggered by an imbalance of the hormones estrogen and testosterone. The male body produces both estrogen and testosterone, although estrogen is normally found in small quantities. The hormones testosterone and estrogen are responsible for the development of sex characteristics in both men and women. Testosterone controls muscle mass, body hair, and also affects a man's sex drive and mood. Estrogen controls female traits, such as breast development. Larger breasts may develop in a man if the levels of testosterone are especially low in comparison to estrogen. This decrease may be caused by natural hormone changes, medications, or conditions that reduce testosterone level or increases estrogen level. Natural hormone changes as seen in infants, puberty, and aging men. Medications that can cause the condition include drug abuse such as amphetamines, marijuana, heroin, methadone, cancer chemotherapy, anti-androgen such as flutamide, finasteride used in treating prostate cancer and some other conditions, herbals such as lavender, tea tree oil, some antibiotics such as isonazid metronizidol or flagel, anti-ulcer drugs such as cimetidine or tagamet HB, heart medications such as digoxin or lenoxin, calcium channel blocker for treating heart attack, a tricyclic antidepressant such as amitriptyline, anti-anxiety medication such as diazepam. Health conditions that can cause the condition include Tumors, such as those affecting the testes, adrenal glands, or pituitary gland. Kidney failure, malnutrition and starvation, liver failure and cirrhosis, hyperthyroidism. Symptoms, breast tenderness, swollen breast gland tissue. Diagnosis, to diagnose gynecomastia, a careful medical history, including your drug use, medical and family history may be important. In most cases, Diagnosis is made by a physical examination that may include careful assessment of your breast tissue, abdomen, and genitals. To establish the cause of the condition, in certain cases, initial tests may be recommended. These may include a blood test to examine the liver, kidney, and thyroid function. If cancer is suspected, a mammogram may be ordered by the doctor. Further testing may be required depending on the initial test result, such as CT scans, MRI scans, tissue biopsies, and a testicular ultrasound. Treatment. Most cases of the condition, especially in pubertal males, relapse over time with no treatment. If your condition is caused by an underlying medical condition, such as malnutrition or cirrhosis, such condition may need treatment. Your doctor may recommend stopping or substituting any medication you are taking if that is the cause of your condition. Breast cancer medication, such as aromatase inhibitors, like arimidix, tamoxifen, as in Soltamox, may be helpful for some. These medications are approved by the FDA to treat breast cancer, not gynecomastia. If significant breast enlargement still exists after initial treatment, your doctor may suggest surgery. Liposuction or mastectomy are the two gynecomastia surgical options. Liposuction procedure involves removing the breast fats and not the breast gland tissue. In mastectomy, the breast gland tissue is removed. For coping and support, you may go for counseling, talk to your friends and family, or connect with other people with the condition. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video.
Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.